I'm gonna walk in front of the camera here. What are you looking at? I'm just doing Go fuck yourself. What is what is that? That's 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 the sound of the collective audience or the audience collectively vomiting whenever Ramsey's on the on the on the camera. Why are they vomiting because Ramsey's on the camera? Uh because Ram uh, I am too sexy. Their bodies just can't handle it. Welcome back to the Amherst Armadillo Revives B5. We're reviving B5? We're reviving it. It's right. been revived. Where once it was dead, us speaking on it brings it back to life. Cool. That's John and I'm Poncho. Uh, hello, John. Hey, Poncho. This time we, we operated on episodes 8 through 13. It's only five episodes because uh, some of us have jobs in real lives. And unfortunately, these were a lot of filler episodes, weren't they? So far, all of them have been filler episodes. That's Basically, true. there was the pilot <laughs> and that stuff that happened. <laughs> and um, it's been filler episodes since. If you were to ask me what has happened between the last block that we watched and this current block, nothing. Okay, like not, nothing. <laughs> nothing of significance has happened at all. These are these are the days that, like, when you're telling a story, usually you just leave out. Still, I'm still digging the show. Yeah. Um. Uh. It's been really kind of cool, like getting getting to know some of the characters. Although now I'm starting to dislike some of the characters. Which characters do you dislike? Uh, I'm particularly not not liking uh, our doctor. Oh, by the way, we have we have actual cheat sheets now, so we can say the names right way. Yeah. Uh, so the uh, are you talking about Doctor Franklin, Stephen Franklin? Yeah, I'm getting mixed messages from like the character. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes it seems like he's being played off as uh, uh, like really naive, right, and, mm -hmm. and green, and then sometimes he's like like super super savvy. Are you specifically talking about the episode called Believers? The, the one that was talking about Christian scientists? Well, I'm talking about overall. Oh, overall? Because uh, um, he, he, he was easy to dupe when we had the artifacts on mm -hmm. there. Um, and then he was not easy to dupe once he figured out that was something was going on. Yeah, it was really it was a really quick turnaround. Uh, uh, and then he became, became super, super headstrong and, and uh, 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 principled, but like weird principled. When when in believers, um, I would like him to be savvy doctor, or naive doctor, but not not both. It's weird. His character took a weird turn in that episode. It starts off with him talking to these this this religious this race that holds their religion substantially close, and they are religiously vehement against vehemently against being cut because that's what food animals get, and people aren't food. Uh, but it's the only way to cure their son, and he's like. And the the his nurse or his assistant is like, oh, dude, we just gotta totally do it, man. We we gotta just steamroll these parents. They don't know what they're talking about. They're stupid barbarians. And he's like, no, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to lead them along and give them a little extra time and 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 you know, see them on their side and and, and then we'll dupe them. They'll eventually come over to our side. And then he just got pissed off. He was like, oh yeah, you you guys aren't over on our side yet. Well, yeah. I've had it. Yeah. So another thing there, like. Is Doctor Franklin? Is he the head doctor? I th yeah, I think he's the head doctor okay. on board. Because like he was talking to the other doctor, like it was it was uh, a peer. I believe it is a peer. I believe she's a peer. Uh, there can't be two head doctors, one boss. Yeah, but he doesn't seem like the guy who he 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 doesn't seem like the type of character who was going to like pull rank in every like pull like show his big D on, on every situation. I was shocked. Oh, spoilers. There's no, there's no spoilers. This is like 15, 20 15 years, years old. Yeah. I don't think now they would show a kid being killed by their parents, mm -hmm. like without there being a big uproar. Yeah. Like to see see that back in something something that aired in 1994, that's pretty bananas. Yeah, I was super happy. Like this sounds this sounds real kind of macabre, but I was super happy that the kid died. Because as we were getting to the point, like after he, he completed the surgery and the parents were upset, 
I was expecting this to go full like 80s sitcom be like, well, we saw the error of our ways and we realized that we, we don't need to be all up in, in the in the, the scriptural literacy and all that stuff. And I'm like, let this kid die. I like I don't care if the parents kill him. I don't care if the surgery didn't work and it's just proves that they're God. I don't want there to be a situation where this kid lives. And it, it did not disappoint. I was it, yeah. it's kind of dark, but I was happy the kid died. I thought the kid was going to die. I thought the kid was going to die because they weren't going to going to do it like i thought yeah. they were going to establish that dr dr franklin is a uh, by the book yeah doctor. Or, or at least or at least uh, uh, like respects the chain of command yeah uh but i definitely was not expecting expecting his parents to to kill him yeah especially when the when the kid said he didn't want the operation yeah like okay so you're a doctor and you want to do what's best for the patient and like that's cool at the time there were there was really a, a lot of conversation it was, was this was somewhat around like the Terry Schiavo deal or it was a few years before the Terry Schiavo deal. So everybody was talking about, uh, you know, where that goes. I, I really enjoy that episode because I enjoy something I'm looking forward to a lot in, in B5 is like the legal processes. And what I've found, I, I have not been found wanting is like the legal processes and the logical processes to making their decisions and stuff like that. And a good quarter of this episode was just process, yeah. like filing petitions and motions and having hearings and shit like that. I loved it. Yeah. You know, it's kind of cool how like that is, that is how they resolve a lot of issues. Like, like there's, there's been a few times now where something has gone wrong and they're like, we need to have a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they um, talk about precedents. They even talk about uh, like it, it knocks it back to that, that first uh, pilot feature where it's like, well, you let. You let Doctor Methane look in the look, look at Ambassador Kosh. What, 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 you know, oh, yeah. well, that's right. Which is why I can't let you do this. Otherwise, we set up. Yeah, I mean, that's really cool. It's been tough watching this because, like, we're used to being able to stream things, and all the episodes are available, uh, and like breaking it down into. Sex. It's been hard for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's been hard for me. Like, I'm I'm trying to not like research things, and there's a lot of questions that I have. Like, uh, feels like they've been teasing us. What do you feel like you've been teased? They keep on like uh uh dropping names. You know, like they mentioned the the Mimbari Gray console. Mm-hmm. Don't know what the hell that is. You can infer that it's some sort of leadership thing because they're barking orders at people, mm-hmm. but you just get a name and you get you get that uh Delenn is part of it. The other Mimbari Mimbari organization that they talk about is the Wind Swords. Oh, excuse me. Those are the uh, the Minbar. You got it right. All right, I'm 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 the one who always gets that name wrong. Thanks, Overwatch. Mm. But we don't know anything other than that they're called the Wind Swords. Yeah, and they have a vendetta or interest or something against Sinclair. Yeah, it's it seems like it seems like the the Minbari race, like their government, is just a, a bunch of different. Uh like groups like family groups or casts yeah. or something like that and these wind swords uh cuz they they brought it up in Death Walker in the Death Walker episode because the, the uh this the what were they called the wind swords yeah, the the wind swords were were harboring the uh uh the Nazi doctor yeah she, they were har- harboring Dr. Mengele cuz i mean but they're definitely like building up a a setting you know like they're showing that like the station is going through financial problems like mm. Like I think maybe half a dozen times or so since episode two, Sinclair has bitched about money to somebody, but yeah. not, not having not having the money yeah. to do a thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, two million five hundred thousand pounds of steel yeah. cost a lot of money. Humans and aliens wrapped in two million five hundred thousand tons of spinning metal, all alone in the night. In space, in the future, like when you need dock workers, you're gonna throw some Mexicans at it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Minbari quite a bit. Can't tell what their stick is 100%. Sometimes they seem assy, but they seem pretty helpful too. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, I think they have their own agenda, right? So they're like, it's not always like Fluff and Sinclair. You know, when um, Garibaldi was like running rogue through the space station? Yeah. I, I, I called that uh, uh, budget diehard. Okay. So we got our first crazy costume, like alien fight. Did we? Yeah, they they jumped they they jumped him. Oh yeah, in the tunnels and like they're coming sliding down chains yeah. and sw- <laughs> like like swinging chains and that was that was a really difficult fight to watch. 
So it reminded me of like um, the putties from the Power Rangers where like, like you have crazy martial arts happening below the head, but the head isn't moving. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it was funny. It was cool. They, there was like the swinging chain sounds. Mm -hmm. and he, he like tied up a guy with the chain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like he tied it around and like beat him with it. Yeah. That that made me giggle. Also, in 1994, you couldn't say you couldn't say ass on TV easily. Okay. Sinclair told Garibaldi that he was stopping him from frying his own butt. What are you doing? Oh yeah. I'm trying to keep you from frying your own butt. In 2018, Garibaldi would not be saying butt. No, he he might be saying worse words. Yeah. Um. That's it for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're spending a lot of time. I think that they're spending a lot of time on humanity's willingness, waning willingness to work with other alien races. Uh, the 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 financial situation that they're having there, uh, when they talk about by any means necessary, is the set. By the way, the senators is making it sound. It's it's because the Senate doesn't want to fund it because there's not a lot of popular support for Babylon Five at the time. Uh, I mean, we we had we had like what three episodes last block talking about humans pissed off at aliens, mm -hmm. and then we open up this time with Sky Full of Stars, and it the whole episode is about this cabal in the Earth government that is skeptical and thinks that there's some sort of uh, Mimbari sleeper agent Manchurian candidate floating around, and that they think it's they think it's Sinclair. Sure, but again. We're twelve hours correct we're into this show. We're halfway through the first season, and this is this is the one thing that's tied out tied we're, pretty much all the episodes. We're twelve hours into this show, and if you were like to write a synopsis, maybe eight sentences. You're right. Yeah, I agree. But well, th th there has to be a lot of exposition and character building and all that other stuff. And that stuff is cool. Well. Yeah, it's just. Again, I mean, it's 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 showing its age in that in that spot where like if this was a modern show, stuff would have been happening. There's definitely not a villain right now. Uh, the, so far, the the only villain that's kind of been going through the whole thing has been uh, other than like the sniping that the the Narn and the Centauri do. It seems like the main villain has just been intolerance. Yeah, that's a fair thing to say. But there, yeah, there, there's definitely a lot of process that we watched and a lot of like filling in kind of the background of how things work they it shows how they're doing like air traffic control it's showing how villanova is getting like pissed off that sinclair gets to do all the cool stuff and she's just like yeah I'll, I'll watch the farm but here we are a bunch of hours into the show mm -hmm. uh we've learned sinclair is uh not just your average schmuck <laughs> he's special yeah apparently yeah. Yeah, uh, but I yeah. I'm not super keen on that actually. I, I really get off on the fact that, that the show it's it's touched on some major themes that are like typically aren't touched on in like weekly serials like uh, especially at the time, like alcoholism and yeah. and and uh labor disputes and uh PTSD and stuff like that and, and, and religion and all this stuff, which is something I expect from sci fi uh shows anyways. But we still have like the kind of silly trope of, yeah. I mean, this was Sinclair wasn't... is chosen, the chosen one. Sh sure. I mean, that's. I I think when you are dealing with um something that is planned to be you know a long a long form story, you can't uh, you can't be like, hey, let's just see what these regular dudes do. Uh, in in Skyfall of Stars, there uh, there's a scene where it opens up and Garibaldi's like reading the newspaper. I think Garibaldi's reading the newspaper. Did you actually pause to read what the newspaper I was didn't. saying? Okay. Uh, so I remembering uh, the last time we talked on this, you were you 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 brought up that the background conversations and scenes were actually in character conversations, and so that got me interested in in more of the kind of the, these these hidden things. So I, I actually read the paper. Uh, so San Diego is radioactive. Uh, uh, last time we spoke, we, we we talked about how there had been an assassination plot for the ambassadors on Babylon Five, and that was supposed to cue some assassinations on Earth. Well, uh, the I'm going to forget their name every time the Minbari uh, uh, embassy was bombed, uh, and it actually still had another tie-in with uh, the I believe the second episode uh, with that that planet that disputed planet 
uh, with Rogish, and it, it it brought up Rogish in the paper, and it actually brought up in the last episode we watched as well uh, that it brought up Rogish, like that that dispute it turns out wasn't completely fixed. Uh, I don't know why they keep laying into this Rogish shit. Could they not come up with another name and just say they're fighting over multiple planets? It just seemed kind of weird to me. But I, I liked I liked that they had this kind of bonus like fluff that if you're actually looking for it, you can you can actually find. Yeah. I I found that B five can be very very deep in its in its own lore, and like I said, we only we only watched uh, thirteen episodes now, plus the pilot feature, the two and a half day thing that they did. But there's a lot there's a lot there to unpack that you can if you want to watch it again, you can see kind of additional little certainly tidbits in there, and I, I actually like that for for being a, a serial. I forgot what channel it was initially put out on, but that's not that's not something I expect from. From something like that. No, oh, that that certainly is a cool thing, and there's still there's still lots of little cool things being picked up in the chatter. Oh, was it really? Like the the dock workers. Yeah. Like they're bitching about stuff. Well, they, they actually. That's just good, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who to thank for that because I, I can't think that J. Michael Straczynski is like, all right, guys, let me tell you what you guys are gonna be talking about in this scene, right? Like, I don't know if that's a director decision or, I don't know. Maybe they didn't hire actors. Maybe those are just dock workers. Like, hey, guys, so, go to work. All, in, in, in all five of these episodes, they brought up Sinclair's religion quite a bit. Uh, Garibaldi called it a, like a, a, a fake religion at one point. Uh, Sinclair was talking about uh, now I know in, in the Believers episode, he's like, now I know how Pontius Pilate felt. Which is kind of strange because I, I haven't really heard a lot of Christians try to sympathize with Pontius Pilate. How many Christians have you known that are commanders of space stations? I mean, he's not just a commander of a, of a space station. He's a commander of the space station and the ambassador of his entire race. That's a, that's a particularly specialized position. You know? I guess only, only, only the Messiah can be that, right? <laughs> oh, we can't talk about this. We, we got a little bit more of Kosh. Yeah. A little bit more Ambassador Kosh stuff. Uh, he, he apparently had a meeting with Beetlejuice, and he needed a psyker <laughs> to, 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 uh, to, to be there to, to, to witness it. That was pretty cool. They were talking riddles the whole time. Did you did you did you spend any time on those riddles? No. Did you figure out what that whole what the whole plot no. was about? It seemed to me like Kosh was there to do, conduct some business and, and he wanted her there to be a psyker. And she thought it was just in her typical like psyker business dealings where she has to read people's minds, and make sure they're not lying. Beetlejuice is a type of like s- cyber organism or partially cybernetic sure. organism. And so he doesn't actually think. And the psychic visions that she was having, he was putting into her. And so it was, it was he said reflection and he put like this, this weird, scary horror movie mirror scene in there. And then uh, there, there's a couple like horror movie scenes. And that's what Kosh was buying. Like at the end of that plot, she was like, dude, what were you buying? Like that was freaking weird. I didn't really see, like what was on that, that data chip that he pulled out of his head. And he's like, oh, it's just a, uh, uh, oh, what did he call it? Oh, damn. Oh, this is gonna be something that, that we're gonna have to we're gonna have to cut it so that Poncho doesn't look like a total asshat. Uh, bu- 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 I don't freaking remember. Still mysterious uh, lacrosse stick broom man uh, with a, with a traveling cloak. Uh, but weird dude. That that dude. So far we've seen him stay out of politics because he stayed out of the whole situation with the Death Walker thing. He stayed out of the whole situation there with 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 the the Council of Unaligned World. And he's been he's been sneaking data on earth and stuff so maybe that's something that we're gonna find later on as well i'm looking forward to did you enjoy that that council of unaligned worlds i did scene yeah i like that you have the un security council of the of the four or five worlds that really matter and then everybody else who's just like hey we don't really we're not really part of what you guys are doing but we're all going to band together to make sure that we're still being taken care of i thought that was really cool and then everybody's like the whole armada of unaligned uh ships showed up that was really neat i'm just waiting for for story to happen. For story to happen. I think this is going to be a situation where we're we're going to wait until like the last five episodes and then it's going to be a weird cliffhanger. Pro- probably. Are you going to throw a party when we start having actual story? No, I don't. I don't. I don't you do don't that. throw parties? I don't. You're not a partier? Mm-hmm. I like to party. All right. I think we're good. Okay. All right. So we'll come back. We'll come back next time. We're going to do another five episodes. Yep. So we're going to do 14 through 19 for, for those who want to follow along. Please follow along. And... Uh, yeah, should be a lot of fun. Yeah, so if there's something that we're missing, go ahead and put it in the comments. Let us know. Absolutely. Uh, if you if you like my my stupid hat, let me know too, because I could use I could use the boost. Uh, all right. Reflection. Surprise.
surprise, terror for the future.